Hey there, it's Katya. Welcome to the last English bit, this academic course. It's been my sixth year making videos for this channel and I'd like to wrap this year up by recommending five series that I've watched recently. I've picked just five series because I think less is more. Are you ready? If so, let's get into it. The first series on my list today is The Summer I Turned Pretty. You can find it on Amazon. I'm watching the second season and this series is about two families that spend every summer in a beautiful coastal town called Cousins. It's very easy to watch and follow. What I like about this TV show is that it feels like being on vacation. The house is beautiful and cozy the coastal town is super charming, together with ocean views, delicious food, and many little details. On top of that, the soundtrack is excellent and contains many songs by Taylor Swift, my favorite artist. Although everything looks picture perfect, the good-looking characters do have their problems and struggles. I'd say that this TV show is aimed at teenagers, but I think that everybody can enjoy this series regardless of their age. And now let's move on to the second series, Titas Barcelona. You can also find it on Amazon. It's a Spanish series filmed in Barcelona. I really like this TV show. In fact, I've seen the first episode three times. It's about dating dating apps about the pursuit of something. Some people are looking for love, others for a fling or just a hookup. Everybody has their own story and emotional baggage. There are six episodes and every episode tells a different story. They are all very original and thought-provoking. The actors are A-listers, such as Carmen Machi, Clara Lago, Laia Costa, to name but a few. If you like this series, there is another one called Titas. They are intertwined. My third recommendation is the documentary The Deepest Breath on Netflix. This documentary dives into the sport of freediving. I knew next to nothing about this super risky sport before watching this insightful documentary. I was taken aback by the fact that there are some people who can hold their breath for such a long time, dive over 100 meters and are willing to take so many risks and put their lives on the line. This documentary focuses on one Italian freediver, Alessia Zucchini, and tells a story from her beginnings to breaking a world record. She was working with a coach and Irish safety diver, Stephen Keenan. They were preparing a super dangerous dive into the blue hole in Egypt. They formed a very strong bond while working together, and it's a very beautiful, touching and emotional story that you shouldn't miss. Number four, I strongly recommend watching this super inspirational talk by Brene Brown about courage and vulnerability. One of my top five values is courage. And it turns out that in order to be brave, courageous, you also need to be vulnerable. Brene explains that vulnerability is not a weakness. Actually, it's the key to courage. She says that vulnerability is hard, is uncomfortable, it feels dangerous, but it's important and essential in order to live our lives to the fullest. Brene explains what vulnerability actually means and debunks some myths about vulnerability. For example, oversharing is not vulnerability. I'm gonna quote Brene Brown. She says, you share with people who've earned the right to hear your story. Your story is a privilege to hear. You share it with people who've earned the right to hear it. Vulnerability minus boundaries, not vulnerability. Another quote from this talk, you're worth being brave. I think they're words to live by. 
And I also recommend watching her super famous TED talk on vulnerability. You can find it on YouTube. So if you need some inspiration and you want to be brave and courageous, don't miss this super motivational speech. And last but not least, a Thai movie called Hunger that you can also find on Netflix. It's about a super young female cook that is hired to work for a very famous chef in a high-end restaurant. It's about hunger for success, pursuing your dream, ambition, hard work, fame, and how it changes you. This movie reflects on what really matters in the end. I really enjoyed the photography, the story, and the actors. I think it's very easy to see and very enjoyable. There are many phrases that make you think and hit the nail on the head. For example, is it expensive because it's special or special because it's expensive? I really hope you enjoy this movie. I did and I think it's great. That's it for today. If you watch some of my recommendations, please let me know what you think. I hope you like this content and thank you for being with me one more year, watching my videos, learning English with me and supporting this channel. Thank you very much and see you next academic year. It's going to be the seventh academic course. Thank you and see you very soon. Ciao for now!